So in the times we're living in right now, you can walk into virtually any restaurant, almost anywhere in the world, and you're bound to find a veggie burger on their menu, and with good reason why, as it opens the doors for vegans, vegetarians, and even for meat eaters that want to try something different and maybe something that's a bit healthier. The problem is a lot of these veggie burgers are just not that good, and the ones that are kind of good are made with a heavily processed patty. Anyways, with that being said today, I'm going to show you how to make a veggie burger at home that is truly mind-blowing delicious. We're talking the Mediterranean crispy eggplant burger with a spicy yogurt sauce. Now, not only is this burger super delicious, but with the technique we're gonna prepare and cook the eggplant in, it's gonna have the most incredible texture and flavor, folks. This burger is so easy to make. It's made with simple everyday ingredients, and if you serve it next to some roasted potatoes and a glass of Spanish wine, well, you got yourself one heck of an amazing meal. Let's begin by getting the eggplant ready. I'm gonna cut off about half an inch from the bottom end, which is one and a quarter centimeters and then cut it into thick rounds that are three quarters of an inch thick, which is about two centimeters. Then we'll season the slices of eggplant with a generous portion of sea salt. You wanna do this on both sides. And then we'll transfer the slices of eggplant into a colander and let them sit there for at least 30 minutes. You know eggplant is 92% water, so by doing this step, all that salt is going to extract the water out of the eggplant. That way later on when we cook it, it doesn't get mushy and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. While the eggplant is resting, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. Let's begin by making the spicy yogurt sauce. I'm going to add in half a cup of Greek yogurt into a bowl, which is 145 grams. Then we'll finely grate in one clove of garlic. If you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. We'll squeeze in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. Then we'll grab half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.15 grams. This is what adds the heat to the sauce. You can also use half the amount of chili powder and add it into the yogurt. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. For the next step, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl, which is 35 grams. We'll crack in two eggs into a separate bowl and whisk them together until they're well mixed. And on a third and separate bowl, you want this one to be a little bit larger. I'm going to add in one cup of breadcrumbs, which is 120 grams. Then we'll season the breadcrumbs with one teaspoon of dried thyme, which is 0.90 grams. One teaspoon of dried oregano, which is about one gram. And one teaspoon of garlic powder, which is one and a half grams. We'll lightly pinch in a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper and we'll mix it together, that way all those seasonings are evenly mixed into the breadcrumbs. And for the final ingredients to prepare, I'm gonna cut a couple thin slices from a red onion, and a couple thin slices from a tomato. All right, let's move back to the eggplant. It's been sitting here for about 30 minutes, so all that water should be extracted out of it. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse to remove all the excess salt. Then transfer the slices of eggplant over a dishcloth and pat them completely dry. And we'll season the slices of eggplant with a little sea salt and black pepper just on one side. Before we start coating our slices of eggplant, let's start heating our oil. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat. Very important to use a medium heat here, nothing higher. Otherwise the breadcrumbs are gonna brown too quickly and that eggplant's not gonna be fully cooked through. And I'm gonna add in half a cup of sunflower oil, which is 120 milliliters. You can use whatever neutral vegetable oil you like here. While the oil is heating, let's start coating the slices of eggplant. First you wanna go into the all-purpose flour, then into the egg wash. And finally into the breadcrumbs, making sure that those breadcrumbs are evenly coating the slice of eggplant. 
and continue to do this with the rest of the slices of eggplant until they're all fully coated. After heating the oil for about 8 minutes on a medium heat, it should be nice and hot, but as you can see it's not smoking, which means when we add the coated slices of eggplant into the pan, those breadcrumbs are not going to brown too quickly. At this point, I'm going to start adding the coated slices of eggplant into the pan, making sure they're on a single layer. After two to three minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the slices of eggplant to fry the other side. I like to do this with two spoons as it makes it so much easier, but you can use whatever method you like. After a total cooking time of five to six minutes, that's two to three minutes per side, these slices of eggplant should be perfectly cooked and as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color to them. I'm gonna start removing them from the pan and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels. All right, let's start assembling our burgers. I'm gonna be using brioche buns here, but you can use whatever buns you like. I just like to use the brioche ones as they have such an incredible texture and flavor. And I did add them into a baking tray beforehand, drizzled them with a kiss of extra virgin olive oil, and lightly toasted them in the oven just between two to three minutes. That way they have a light crisp to them. Let's begin by adding the fried eggplant over the bottom piece of the bun. Then adding in a slice of tomato, some of the thinly sliced red onion, and a small handful of fresh arugula. Then we'll add in a generous portion of our spicy yogurt sauce over the top bun. and place it over the burger. Check it out folks, our Mediterranean crispy eggplant burger with a spicy yogurt sauce is done. Such a beautiful presentation, easy to make, but the beauty of this burger is gonna be the texture in that eggplant. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. All right folks, moment of truth, let's see how this tastes. Good lord, that is an amazing burger. Veggie burger or not, it's one of the best burgers I've ever tasted. That eggplant's got such an incredible texture to it. And that spicy yogurt sauce takes it to the next level. You saw this so easy to make, made with simple ingredients. Try this veggie burger at home, you're gonna absolutely love it as this is what great food is all about. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener, Martin John Madsen, Jesper Haloum, Jim Owens, and Joan Kiliko. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, and you'd like to support the show so I can continue to release videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego. All right, folks, it is a wrap. That's always another great recipe, but seriously, when it comes to veggie burgers, you don't expect something to be this good at home without anything processed. We don't have any of those processed meats in there. Wow. Love you. See you in the next video.